Hey you guys, before we get into the interview with Brianna Rozier, I want to let you guys know a few quick things. She's a CEO, entrepreneur, motivational speaker, she's a mother of two beautiful girls, and she has three businesses under her belt right now. She's current owner of Joelle Nayor Cleaning Services, the Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop, and the Willings Women Empowerment Program, which is a good program, and I'll get into that now. Okay, so. Early off this year, I started my channel. I did not have a concept. I didn't want it to be nothing dumb, nothing random. My girlfriend, my, was my girlfriend, now current fiance, has a business. And Brianne Rozier provides a platform called the Women's Willing Empowerment, which highlight small businesses in the local and out of state, in state area to come and showcase your work, which is a very good platform because I've never seen a place where there were so many independent, strong black women, just like I said, willing and empowered by their drive and what motivated them in life to go forward. And it was just, it, it gave me the idea of, this is what I want my channel to be about. I wanna go around interviewing these um, local businesses, giving them a platform to launch their set, give them a platform to launch what they have. And I felt as though it was only right that I interviewed Brian Rocher and I told her this and um, I just want to share this with you guys too. It was very important for me to do this interview. The link in the description to Facebook, websites, everything, the GoFundMe page for the Willing Women Empowerment will be in the link and will be in the description box below. Currently they asked for a hundred thousand dollars donation. I will leave that link in the description box below. It is very important. I, I mean, it is very important that we donate to a worthy cause because I see people all donating all the time for nonsense. And if somebody who's doing, want to do good, they don't get the donations they ask for. I know we're better than this. I know we can do better. And, and it's just, it's amazing. So, like I said, I will leave all the links to everything. I just said the websites, GoFundMe will be in the description box below. And let's do this, people. $100,000 is nothing. We can do more if we come together. And just talking with Brianna Rozier, seeing this interview, I hope you guys like it. All right, let's go. Hey you guys, welcome to the Mind of Enigma. I'm your host, Mr. Enigma, and today I'm at the Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop on 3706 Mercy University Drive, Suite 38. Today I'm here with the owner, Brian Rozier. She's a CEO and entrepreneur. Thanks for having me, Brian. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, now I'm delighted to be here. Today I'm here to talk about the Black Rose, how it got started, what other ventures you have on the side, but before we get into all that, um, for the people who don't know you, just who is Brianne Rozier? Hi, um, I'm Brianne Rozier, like he said. I'm 27 years old, born and raised here in Macon, Georgia. And like he said, I am an entrepreneur. Um, I own Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop. Um, and I have a nonprofit as well as a cleaning service. Hmm. Talk about the cleaning service. Um, my cleaning service, I started, well, that was my first business venture, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I started in 2015, along with Willing Women Empowerment, my nonprofit um, women's organization. Mm -hmm. They were both started in 2015. Okay. I kind of started them, like, right around the same time. Um, the cleaning service, I just was very good at cleaning and organizing, and I just, you know, needed a way to make some money. So, mm -hmm. I just... Um, I just started cleaning something. Turn a, turn a habit into a profit. Basically. Okay. Like so what's the name of the cleaning service? It's Jolie Nor. It's mm -hmm. J-O-L-I-E-N-O-I-R. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it actually means beautiful and black in French. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Learned something. Jolie Nor? J-O-L-I-E-N-O-I-R. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm here to talk about the Black Rose Beauty. Since we're here, I'm here to talk about the Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop. Just how did the Black Rose come about? 
So Black Rose started um, last year, June of 2017. Mm -hmm. We've been here a year now, a little over a year. And I just, um, from having Wilhelm Empowerment, I was doing a lot of events and just going a lot of places and I really enjoyed getting my makeup done. And um, at the same time, I had a lot of friends that were, we were all looking for like a new business venture as well. So I thought about it like, this would be a great opportunity for women to, you know, be their own bosses kind of inside of my place. So it was really just giving people an opportunity to start their own brands within a brand. And of course, I love getting my makeup done. I love makeup. And so it was just like the perfect idea, like a place where women can just, you know, get beautiful. And also at the end of the day, like just me loving entrepreneurship and business, other women have, you know, came and teamed up with me and they're building their brands as well. So. Mm, that's nice. Where did you get the name from? Um, a very special friend actually helped me think of it. I, I was just, it was hard because like I had so many ideas mm -hmm. and we were just like naming stuff and just coming up with stuff and I think I said something like a, like a flower or I had a best friend like Jasmine. Jasmine is a flower. I'm like, no, I'm not going to name it after her, but what else flower? I thought about the rose and what a rose symbolizes. So I Googled black rose. Mm -hmm. And the definition of it, like people were saying, people think it means death, but it actually means rebirth and rejuvenation. And I was like, that's perfect. Mm. Black Rose. <laughs> so you said the shop been open for a year, right? Right. Okay. So tell us about your team and your services that you have, you know, all that. So Black Rose offers makeup services, mm -hmm. anywhere from eyebrows, to eyelashes. We do eyelash services. It's different levels to eyelashes. We do all those strips, um, individuals, eyelash extensions, and we offer full body waxing and hair removal services. So um, we, we're starting to get into other things. Um, maybe 2019, I am open to some new ideas, bringing new people. We're not a hair salon, okay. but um, maybe in the future, you know, we might do hair. Okay, because when you think of a glam shop, just one stop, you can just get everything done, right. hair, makeup, and all right. that. Do you venture in nails too, or? I haven't ventured in nails. My best friend down a couple doors down actually owns a nail salon, so we just go right down the, the freeway, get our nails done. <laughs> so as an entrepreneur, what other endeavors do you have besides Black Rose? And I'm more talking about the women's willing empowerment. This is what I'm talking about now, besides oh. the cleaning services. Could you elaborate more on the women willing empowerment? Yeah, so like I said, I started Willing Women Empowerment in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually, the goal for Willing Women is to be like a women's resource center, um, mm -hmm. to do job placement, help women get back in school, help women just with social or any type of economic problems like counseling services. It's really just, and I love children and I love men as well, but you know, my, especially because I am a woman and I understand being a woman, that's why I, it's with women in power. It's a women's organization. Mm -hmm. Just for women to come together like a sisterhood kind of. I like that. I was there to the one you had last year and I was blown away by so many other individuals who had small businesses right. and to know that these women were self-made and self-owned and they had a purpose. They were driven by their purpose right. that they was like I had another way. They just it was something about like it was something about it that I was like wow. Yeah. That is amazing and to know that you I know you personally from school. Right that you organized it in making in in here in making Georgia it was like wow it was breath it was, it was a fresh I, good know, thing I to see. started the first ever event I had in that kind of so similar to that one I had maybe like 10 people show up mm -hmm. and I didn't get discouraged yeah so you have to just keep building mm -hmm. and keep going that's the hardest thing about being an entrepreneur because at the end of the day this is all on you mm -hmm. no one is gonna you know no one is going to fulfill your purpose or know how it is for you to think about that idea and you to see that bigger picture but you. So you have to start small and just work your way up. Now, the Black Rose in development, how long did it take to take it to get off the ground? Just the shop it, itself. It was, I really, and everybody who tells me looking in, they're like, Brian, you open this really quick. Like I got the idea in April and I was open in June. 
wow, that is kind of crazy. I was like, yeah, I already had opened a previous, and I worked for a lot of powerful women before mm -hmm. before I decided to be an entrepreneur. I worked at hair salons. I worked at other women. Like I saw these women when I was younger. <laughs> Um, in making, doing things. I met a lot of powerful business women, like maybe when I was around 18, 19. So that really drove me, you know, being around other powerful black women running businesses and learning from them what it took. Yeah. Like internship and like you just worked under them, you've seen the ins and outs and the struggles. Right. Do you ever have moments where, I know you posted a video a while ago on your Facebook and you was like having self doubt. Do you, have you grown? How do you take it now since you had the business? Do you grow from it? or? Like I posted the video because I wanted to show people, like, because people just say, oh, she got a business. Oh, she had this and that. They don't think that I have those moments where I'm like, wow, this is overwhelming. Wow, can I really do this? Like, people see you on social media, and I, I just feel like they see all the glamour. They don't see the struggle and the hard work and the tears that it takes, like, it's gonna be days where you really like, why did I get myself into this? I done spent all this money, I done invested all this time, and still, like, you do you feel like giving up. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, this is all on one person, and they, no one else has to run this business. No one's name is on any of this paperwork, or no one has to make sure all these certificates and licenses and customers that walk through this door are satisfied but me. Mm -hmm. It all falls back on me at the end of the day. How do your staff uh, takes it? Do they, do you let them like, you let them know like just straight up like, hey, look, this is what's happening for the shop. This is what needs to happen. Right. This is what needs to change. How do they, do they like, yes, man? Do they, do they kind of like, uh, whatever? Like, it's all you, the boss. No, I don't. I don't try to be like the mean boss or anything. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the end of the day, I do have to keep things business and not personal. Mm -hmm. They're all pretty like we all get along and. They're all open to learning. Like when you've been being an effective leader, like you can't be a leader if the people you're leading aren't listening. Mm. So I mean, the crew I started with are not here. You know, mm -hmm. they did other business ventures, and you just have to find people that's ready to walk the same path as you. Mm. Okay. What the information about? What other information do you have for the audience? pertaining to like social media websites, anything about the Black Rose, uh, Black Rose, the Women Willing Empowerment, anything. You can just say it all to the audience, anything, donation-wise, whatever. Yeah, so Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop, like he said, is located at 3706 Mercer University Drive, Suite 38. We're in the pink buildings um, across from Sparks and across from Ken's, and we're upstairs. Um, you can like us on Facebook at Black Rose Boutique and Glam Shop. Uh, our Instagram is at Black Rose Glam Shop. Um, Will and Women Empowerment is WWE Will and Women Empowerment. Um, it's a Facebook page for that as well, or you can check us out online. All the links are online. I'm on Facebook, Brian Rozier. If you want to network, if you have any idea, event, I'm also a motivational speaker and I'm working on just helping people build their brands and make their dreams come true. Like. You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village as well for us to succeed as black business owners. Like, people, Chinese people, Indian people, white people, and I'm not racist or anything, you don't see them too often walking our business, but you see all of us walking into all their businesses, mm -hmm. giving them millions and billions of dollars for their companies and stuff. So it takes us to start these small businesses and to make them successful. So. If you even have a friend or you know anyone with a business, just please be supportive. Support local black businesses and let's, you know, just let's all be great. Okay, y'all, you heard it here first on the Mind of You Nimbus. Go check out Brianna Rozier at the Black Rose Futique, Facebook, social media. You heard it here first. Again, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the interview. Shake your hand. Thank, Thank you for you. welcoming me. Thank I don't you know so why much. I forgot. No, you're fine. It don't matter as long as you did it. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, y'all. Oh, See you. Yes, I'm so glad you have